I want to quickly go over yesterday's video where we worked on two USB flash drives. We were not able to fix the first one, but we did fix the second one and we were able to successfully recover all data of the second drive. We assumed the problem was the controller chip on the first USB flash drive. Because we reflowed the NAND chip, we went over all SMD components, we made sure the USB socket is connected properly, so we were only left with the controller being the faulty component on that board. And we also inspected that board under a thermal cam and the controller chip was around 170 degrees Fahrenheit. That's a lot of heat to be on the controller chip. Usually the temperature is around 90 degrees Fahrenheit. When the drive is working, maybe the temperature can go up to 110, 120, 130. But an initial temperature of 170 degrees Fahrenheit is a lot. This morning I woke up and I found a lot of comments on this video. A lot of comments. Some viewers suggested that we rebuild the NAND chip. Others suggested that we transfer the NAND chip over to the other drive. Uh, some viewers suggested that we use another controller chip. Others suggested that we go over all SMD components on the board and a possible crack on one of the capacitors at 4.43, at minute 4.43, so on and so forth. The list goes on and on and on. I read every single comment and I went by every single comment that we received on that video. I went over the NAND chip. I did not rebuild the NAND chip because I did not feel the need to rebuild the NAND chip. The solder balls under the chip, they look good. I checked both ends of the chip and I did not see a need to take off the chip and rebuild the NAND chip. So I reflowed the NAND chip again. I went over the controller chip and I soldered every single pin on that controller chip. And I also went over every single component on that board, capacitors and resistors. I soldered both ends of every single component on that board. I just wanted to make sure that all components are making a solid connection with the board and I plugged the drive in and it worked. The files are being copied right now as we speak. Let me show you what's happening. Look at this. At one point files were being copied at a very slow rate but right now the rate stabilized at about 7 megabytes per second which is perfect for a USB 2.0 drive. Files are being copied. So the question is, what solved the problem? Is it the soldering of SMD components? Is it the soldering of the controller chip? Or is it the reflowing of the NAND chip? The answer is the resoldering of the controller chip. Now, when I plugged that USB flash drive onto my computer, I was holding that drive from the controller chip. I plugged it in and I was able to see the files. I let go of the drive and the drive disconnected. I press on that controller chip again and the drive came back. So what I'm thinking is the problem lies between the pins and the controller chip. The connection between the pins and the controller chip. I'm not talking about the pins making a connection with the pads on the board, but rather the pins making a connection with the actual chip. Let me just grab any drive. So basically I'm talking about this. I'm talking about the pins those pins make it a connection with the actual chip. That's where the problem lies. When I press down on the chip, I was able to see the files. When I let go of the chip, we lost the drive. We were not able to see that drive no more. So what I did is I pressed the chip hard and I let go and the drive did not disconnect. And I'm still hoping that it's not going to disconnect. But we are almost done with copying of the files right here. We're almost done. And honestly, I'm afraid to breathe or move because I want all files to copy before something happens. I am really happy and I'm very glad that we were able to solve the problem. Complete, done. So uh, we have 100% of the files. Great, awesome. The drive is fixed and we were able to get all the files. I wanna thank each and every one of you who commented. You gave me that push to go over that drive again and I was able to recover files from that drive. We're gonna end the video right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any questions and we'll do something else in the next video.